To start, Olivia, how did it feel to have the biggest standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival last night? Pretty insane. I think um, it exceeded all of our expectations. This movie is one of the best movies I've seen in years. I know that I'm in it, but I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I haven't seen a film that takes you on a journey that is so immersive in the way that this film has. So to be in a room full of people and experience that with everybody was just paramount. You know, the journey that everyone has been on on this film for years, you know, to have it here and to have everybody loving it and having Priscilla there to support it, it it's incredible. I, yeah, breathtaking. When did you first meet Priscilla Presley? Only a couple of weeks ago. Um, we met at the Met um, when she came uh, with Prada and, and, and all of us and yeah, she's lovely. Exceeded my expectations. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Did you watch old interviews of her, old footage of her to help channel her? Totally, absolutely. That was absolutely paramount to sort of curating um, my interpretation of, of her and how she plays in this story. I think uh, a lot of, I watched a lot of interviews, I listened to a lot of recordings. Um, I would like listen to her going to sleep, obviously read her book, but yeah, her voice is incredibly important, I think. It's a, as well, it's a real sort of break from the very sort of male dominated story that we find ourselves in. So um, to sort of curate that was really integral. You'd listen to her going to sleep how? I would like listen to her interviews. There's like this tour that she does of Graceland and I would play that on repeat as I would go to sleep in order to sort of just get used to hearing her, her cadence and the way that she spoke. There's a really emotional scene where Priscilla says to Elvis that they'll get back to, or Elvis says to Priscilla that they'll get to back together when he's 50 and she's 40. Do you know if that's based on truth or is that, was that? Yeah, I mean, she wrote about that in her book. Yeah, uh, so yes. I would say yes, it is. How did you and Austin become them as a couple? How did you find their chemistry and their... You know, we worked really hard and we spoke to Baz about this a lot, about sort of wanting them to be like a Bonnie and Clyde situation. As well, how it fits into the story too is that Priscilla really brought out this other side of him, this very private side of him. And I think that's what we really wanted to, to, to hone in on, was the playfulness of it, was the, uh, the vulnerability of it, was the groundedness of it. And I think I was lucky with Austin. He did such an incredible job and he's such a hard worker. And so to trust an actor in that space, you know, when you get in the ring with them, uh, can, only good things can, can happen because you feel safe, you feel like you can experiment. And um, yeah, working with him was, was a, a pleasure. And, you know, hopefully I get to do it again. What was your audition process like? I did a self-tape. And I sent it in. I didn't hear anything for a couple of months. And then I was sitting at dinner with my agent, Zach. And I was like, whatever happened to that Baz, but that Baz Luhrmann movie? Like, I love Baz. He's Australian. He was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should, like, ask and see what's going on. And 10 minutes later, he got a text on his phone saying that I'd got the job. And we, I, I remember we both read it and we just were like, oh. And we couldn't say anything, obviously, because, like, there were people around and we couldn't tell anybody. So it was, it kind of happened. Um, it kind of felt like happened overnight, but also it didn't. So it was, yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then finally, can you talk about when was the first time you saw Austin as Elvis in the full Elvis getup? Do you remember Absol that? Well, I actually remember my first proper day on set was we were doing the 68 special. So I was in the orange, you know, the 68. I mean, it's incredible. We all applauded last night. Um, and we, I was sitting next to Luke Bracey and he had like the prosthetics on and the hair and he was doing all of the dance moves and the leather suit. And it felt like we were watching the real thing. And, you know, that moment where the past and the present come together through somebody and through the eyes of Baz and CM and, like, the way that they had matched all of the extras. I don't know if you even noticed, but the, even the extras were matched to what they really were. And all the costumes, the hair, everything was the same. And it was just, it's just, re you know, revelatory. You feel you're transported into another world. And to see that in the flesh and to see it happening, like, right before your eyes is just... Unbelievable. And to be able to sit here and talk about it, it's such an honor. I love I adore this film. It's one of my favorite films ever that I've seen. And the fact that I can be in it is just tops. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's Elvis Presley.